Yo, YouTubians, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Marcus X Hope, just out the mask, so excuse the beard, but I'm gonna try to fix that real quick. There we go. But um, on this channel, we talk about being financially and physically fit. So if that's what you're trying to do, you in the right spot. So go ahead and smash that sub button. If you hear the air conditioning, I apologize. It's like 89 degrees outside, but that's neither here or there, right? All right, so let me tell you about the importance of having a a, a rainy day fund or you know a small little safety net or what have you so this happened back to back so me and the wife would go to atlanta and um she had a doctor's appointment and unfortunate not unfortunately it was we didn't know um there was a copay just out of nowhere like hey don't forget about your copay you know that's a hundred dollars so I was like, all right, it's whatever, you know, we got we got the money, you know, it's whatever. So just go ahead and slide that $100. We still on budget, we still on track because that's coming out of a savings, you know, it's coming out of rainy day fund. So I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Because originally they told us it wasn't gonna be a copay or wires got crossed, don't know. Doesn't matter, we need, we need to do what we gotta do. All right, so the very next day, not the very next day, but later on that week, I'm driving the car that my wife drives and I had a hose bust. The hose that's keeping the cool, the car actually cool, so my car was overheating. And there was no way for me to predict that. I mean, there's no way to be like, you know what? I think today my top hose is gonna bust and you know, and that's okay because I'm gonna be in the area where, you know, I can fix it or I got one in the back seat and I'm just gonna fix it. No, you know what I'm saying? If I was sitting in the parking lot, getting ready going to the gym, charging my phone, just in my thoughts, and I see a cloud of smoke come up. So I'm like, damn, my car's on fire. You know, instantly what I thought. It wasn't true, but that's what I thought. But anyways, you know, my, my brain is 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 not it's not working right. Anywho, we're gonna get back on track. So, you know, we end up getting it to the um I was able to drive it to a um Firestone. Firestone fixed it. Um, and it cost me $500. So in a short period of time, unexpectedly, I had to spend $600. That's why your emergency fund is important. Things like that. It's, you, if you don't want to call it an emergency fund, call it an unpredictable fund, call it, hey, I just got to put this up in the sock drawer, for, whatever you want to call it. Just get your emergency fund. Um, it's recommended if you're doing the debt snowball, like if you're doing Dave Ramsey method, he recommends doing a thousand dollars, um, just having set aside and then all the rest of your money go towards your debt. Um, of course your, your four, your four pillars to you, you know, keeping up your walls. Uh, but sometimes I say, do what you feel comfortable. You feel like a thousand is not enough and you want to save 2000, 5,000 5, and then start tackling your debt. Do what you got to do. You know what I mean? You, you got to make this journey comfortable for you. So, like I said, I'm trying to become financially fit. Um, make sure y'all check out a few of these videos that I have up here for y'all. Um, to show where my journey is. I'm showing you guys my journey. Um, these are my numbers. Uh, this is how I'm doing it. And hopefully somebody can learn from me. That's, that's why I put out these videos. I want somebody to learn from me. So, until next time, peace.